Over at DC Comics, one of the most special times for me in recent memory was in 2021 during DC's Future State Initiative. That initiative saw the publisher look into the near future to see how new characters would kind of grow and evolve out of some existing franchises. We got new interpretations of Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Plus, the future state in the next Batman series was even written by John Ridley, an author who has um, you know, been acclaimed in several different mediums with projects like 12 Years a Slave. So it was a big deal having an author of such a claim head over to a DC property. And I had such a blast with the uh, next Batman title, as well as the I Am Batman series over at DC. This has been kind of a really gritty look at the newest Batman, Tim Jace Fox, to see how he's adapting to the new role. Sadly, DC is winding down uh, this series, I Am Batman, with issue number 18. My name is Arico Braddock, and today, let's go ahead and dive into I Am Batman 18 to see just how the series wraps up. But before we get deeper into the video, I want to go ahead and encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button if you enjoy our content. And I want to introduce I Am Batman 18 with DC solicitation text for the issue. Jace Fox is on the most urgent mission of his tenure at Batman to save the life of his mother. At war with the domestic terrorist group called the Moral Authority, Jace fights a relentless battle alongside his sister Tiffany and a new hero who bridges DC's past, present, and future as I Am Batman comes to a spectacular and emotional close. And next up, I want to go ahead and share the creative team behind I Am Batman 18. This issue is written by John Ridley. Uh, we have art from Christian Duce, Eduardo Pensica, and, Re and excuse me, Julio Ferreira. Colors here from Rex Locus and letters from Troy Pateri. Kristen Duce and Rex Locus worked on the cover for the series that I want to go ahead and show off right now. Here's a look at the cover for I Am Batman number 18. I love this kind of formidable pose that Batman is striking over in New York City because that's where Tim Jace Fox, uh, the Batman of I Am Batman, is currently located. Let's kick things off today by taking a look at some of the preview pages of the issue. And I want to give a big thanks to Adventures in Poor Taste for providing me with the preview of this issue so incredibly fast. Uh, I really enjoyed how this issue kicks off with kind of, uh, you know, so much high stakes right from the onset of the story. Uh, you know, Tim Jace Fox's family is in immediate danger in this series. Um, you know, several members of his family, including him, are captured by a, by a group kind of led by this King character, um, you know, as well as the moral authority. And we see Tim Jace Fox fighting alongside some of his allies that he's acquired, you know, kind of throughout the series that have gone and taken some kind of new roles in this chapter, which is part of the reason why I wanted to talk about this series today. I feel like there's been some really interesting developments over in the life of Tim Jace Fox that maybe not enough fans are charting and tracking. I've been enjoying how John Ridley has been fleshing out the supporting cast and utilizing all these different characters. I was particularly interested to see kind of where Ridley would go with Renee Montoya and the question, as that was a kind of character who kept coming back to uh, the series. And we now kind of get in the form of nobody a follow up to that plot point. One other aspect of the supporting cast that I really like, along with, um, you know, Tim's su surprisingly honest and forthcoming uh, emotional moment between him and his mother was also kind of. Um, the reaction from Tiffany over the past couple issues, we've seen Tiffany take up kind of more and more and more uh, responsibility and agency as her own character. So kind of getting the culmination of that character and also kind of seeing like Tim and, um, you know, Tiffany kind of smooth over uh, their relationship was really fantastic throughout this issue. That being said, I want to be honest. I think there's moments here in the art where it's incredibly clear and coherent, like this gorgeous page that we're looking at right now. Um, but in other moments, I feel like the art is much less cohesive. So I feel like depending on what page and what artist you're getting over on the page, 
it's a little bit inconsistent in quality kind of throughout the pages of I Am Batman. And I would say, too, the most negative second aspect of this series, aside from, um, you know, some of the pages not being super clear, is the fact that from like a narrative standpoint, it really doesn't make sense, I don't think, to end this here. I doubt that this is the last chapter with I Am Batman, but I'm not sure where, um, you know, I Am Batman, where Tim J's Fox is going to show up next. And I feel like we were more so in the middle of a story where the Fox family was trying to like reestablish themselves in New York and sort of, I think some of the momentum from just ending the series abruptly like this is definitely going to like impact future issues. I hope that DC has like some sort of plan to keep Tim Jace Fox in the bat suit because I think it's really important for DC to continue to emphasize their new characters and stray away from people like Bruce Wayne who have significantly less story opportunities than a hero like Tim Jace Fox does. And also, I want to make mention of some of the good artwork in here. There's really great fight scenes between, um, you know, the, the Fox family as well as, um, you know, King's forces in the issue. And there's some really great kind of like fisticuffs and um, moments that are paced in the issue. Uh, one last plot point that I want to bring up here. I kind of like how nobody fights a little bit differently than some of the other characters in this issue, which I think you can see directly on this page, how nobody is very calmly deflecting bullets that... Uh, you know, I am Batman would probably not do. So it's really cool to kind of see just from like a tactical standpoint, how nobody handles a situation, uh, you know, versus uh, Tim himself. Um, so those are kind of my thoughts over on I am Batman. I think this was another like really solid issue of the series that took kind of so many plot points together and was really able to build a cohesive finish to a very kind of fascinating and long running story. So again, I think this is a pretty solid issue of the title, and I'm definitely sad to see I Am Batman ending a little bit abruptly for my tastes. Were you following I Am Batman as a series? What were your thoughts on how the Tim, um, you know, Jace Fox, or the Fox family itself has developed over the past years at DC? And where are you looking to see this character next across DC's several different comic books? Well, thank you guys so much for checking out the video. It was a pleasure diving deep into Tim Jace Fox's life to celebrate the end of his excellent ongoing series. And we'll be back really soon with more excellent comic book content. Thank you so much, and we'll be back soon. Bye.